Welcome. I'm Dennis McDonough. I'm the president of the Distribution Management Association, the DMA. Uh, I want to welcome you all for being here. Uh, we've got an exciting event planned tonight. Uh, we're privileged to have Dr. Uh, Thomas Turk from Chapman University uh, talk about our theme, the good, the bad, and the ugly of economic conditions. Yeah, I'm going to introduce to you the great speaker for today, tonight, Dr. Tom Turk who is a strategic management professor at Chapman University, one of the great universities in Southern California. And, and he uh, got his PhD from uh, one of the great universities, the public university system in Southern California, UC Irvine, back in 1998. His specialty is in strategic management, and he's going to be coming up here to tell you about the economy. With that, let's give him a round of applause. Nor normally, I start off with something about how glad I am to be here and thanking you for inviting me, but uh, I actually really didn't want to come tonight. <laughs> I hate speaking to this group, and uh, part of the reason is because every year I talk about, uh, the past couple of years, I've talked about how the economy is doing, and everybody gets mad at me. Okay, <laughs> I didn't cause the recession, all right? So, and I've, of course, I've done nothing to... to uh, uh, ameliorate it, but uh, nonetheless, uh, so no, I'm not really glad to be here, but nonetheless, I've, ha I've had a couple glasses of wine, so I'm ready to go. Uh, when I've been asked to, to talk about what's happening in the economy, a lot of people ask me, you know, is it time to pop open the champagne, celebrate a uh, uh, vigorous recovery, or should we grab another bottle of tequila and, uh, you know, wallow in self-pity for, for one more year? Uh, my suggestion is that you uh, grab yourself a beer, remember your youth when you were broke, but somehow still happy. And uh, I think that's what we're, we're headed for in, in the coming year. Uh, so last year, when, we, when I uh, talked about what to expect, uh, obviously one of the deepest uh, recessions, probably the deepest recession since uh, 1981, 1982, or, or perhaps even the Depression, is, depending on how you look at it. Uh, 2008, a disaster. 2009, no better. What about 2010? Well, what we predicted was that uh, the recovery would be relatively sluggish. Normally, coming out of a deep recession, on average, GDP grows at about 6% a year. And obviously, that did not happen in 2010. The recession officially ended the uh, September of 2009, is how they uh, date it. Uh, the economy in 2010 grew at about 2.7, 2.8%, depending on, on uh, revisions that they might do in the future. Last, the economy grew. It grew every quarter last year, uh, but it grew at about half the rate that you would normally expect following a recession this deep. If we look at California, uh, California was hit harder with the recession. Uh, unemployment is 12.5% in California. There are only 48,000 new jobs created in California last year. And to put that in perspective, the during the recession, 1.4 million jobs were lost. For the ma material handling uh, industry in particular, uh, 2009, uh, 10, you saw some recovery. Uh, the, the numbers I saw indicated that uh, sales of material handling equipment increased 6.5% uh, in 2010 versus 2009. New orders uh, increased 24% uh, relative to 2009, and December in particular of 2010 was a big month. Uh, new orders were up 25% relative to November. So you're probably already feeling some of the benefit of the expansion, uh, you know, as, as would be expected about uh, this stage. So if your sales didn't go up, I don't know what's wrong with your company, but... <laughs> Somebody in this room is getting into, cut into your pocket, uh, basically, uh, it would seem like to me. Uh, some of the uh, economists at Chapman, uh, Vern Smith, uh, Nobel laureate, uh, did a study of recessions and the recoveries from recessions. In all 14 recessions since the uh, Great Depression, the recovery has been led by increases in spending in residential housing. Uh, for example, on average, in the year following uh, the end of a recession, residential housing spending increases 26.3%. Uh, 
That number goes to 30% if you don't count the 81 uh, recession, which was a, essentially a double dip recession. The year following this beginning of this recovery, spending on residential housing decreased 2.5%. Now, of course, that begs the question as to why hasn't residential housing grown? Still have new people, the population's growing about three million a year. Interest rates are historic lows. Prices drop, depending on the market, about 30%, probably on average. This would seem to be a great time to buy. Why aren't people doing it? Well, there, there's basically four problems. The first one is the vacancy rate. There's a lot more vacant houses and rental property now than historically the case. Second problem is foreclosures. The market for financial distress property is inefficient right now. A third problem is, of course, unemployment. Typically, to buy a new house, you have to have a job. <laughs> Wasn't that way before, but now it is. <laughs> okay, in addition to the excess vacancies, in addition to the problem with taking a financially distressed property and transferring them to willing buyers, in addition to the unemployment rate, you've got the economic uncertainty problem. That when you buy a house, you're making a 30-year commitment and a mortgage. You need to have some confidence in that income stream. And you're used to the circumstance of buying a house a little bit more expensive than you can afford, assuming your income is going to catch up. Uh, in conditions of economic uncertainty, fewer people are, are going to do that. So that combination is putting a damper on housing. And if you don't have housing, you don't have construction, you don't have mortgage, and you, you're going to have a tepid recovery. Now, it may be different this time, but it will be the first time in the past 14 recessions that that's the case. So until the housing problem gets fixed, it's going to be very difficult to see a robust uh, recovery. So what do we expect in 2011? Uh, continued modest growth. The Chapman economic forecast predicts 3.3% uh, growth in GDP. Uh, I think that's in line with most forecasts. Uh, the only people that are for predicting anything significantly above that is uh, the Obama administration. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, but I think, and, and again, the reason for why it's not going to grow faster despite the liquidity the Fed has brought into the market is because no new construction. And you don't have to guess on how construction is going to go because you have permits. And they're, uh, you know, 9 to 12 month lag over construction spending. And on the residential side, those, they're starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, on the commercial side, they're not. So we expect construction spending to increase about 7% in 2011 uh, on the residential side, but to drop a little bit on the commercial side. So overall construction spending will probably be down about 5% next year. Now 5% sounds bad, but that's as opposed to 33% in 2010 and 27% in uh, 2009. So it's kind of we've essentially stemmed the bleeding, but again, this is supposed to be leading the charge in getting us into a recovery. And so that's, that's going to be what's going to put the biggest damper on, on significant growth. The bottom line is we're expecting moderate growth uh, through next year rather than the robust growth we should expect. If they can do something to get this log jam out in the foreclosures, uh, then I think that'll speed up the economy and lead to more construction. Uh, California is, is, was hit harder because they're more dependent on construction, so it's going to take them a little longer uh, to bail out. So if that's where your market is, uh, sorry. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> And uh, there's not going to be any new spending, but there's a question in the air about how aggressive uh, or successful Republicans will be in rolling back some of the spending increases over the uh, past couple of years. So that would be my conclusion. So.